Hi guys, I am back for another product review and this time it is for these CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balms. And it seems that everyone is coming out with some sort of pencil balm type thing. I haven't yet tried these, I bought these the other day. This is Watermelon Twist and then this one is Blush Twist. Watermelon Twist is here and Blush Twist is here and I'm going to try Watermelon Twist since it is you know, a brighter shade will be easier to see on camera. Um, let's see, does the package have anything about it? Okay, it says, sheer color, soft shine. Okay, I don't know of any other claims that go with the product. Um, there's no, you know, information about it lasting a really long time or anything like that. Opening it up finally, this has been sitting around for like a week and a half and I've been dying to try it, but I wanted to try it with you too. And you can see it didn't open the other one either. No cheating. Um, so I wanted to try it out with you guys. Like I said, there's no claims of like longevity. I think it's just supposed to be a really hydrating lip balm. CoverGirl Lip Perfection. So there it is in the tube. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the bottom is a twist up. It twists up the product. Let's hope I twist it up and it can go back down again. So that's how much product is in the entire package. Not a ton, that's as high up as it goes. And good news, it twists back down again. Okay, so let's just do a preliminary swatch here. So there is a couple strokes. And this is actually, um, I mean, it looks like a pretty bright color and the swatch is just really not that bright. So let me do a couple more over the same area. So that sort of brightens it up a bit. It does have a nice glossy sheen to it. It doesn't appear to have any scent. I really wish it smelled like watermelon, so let's put this puppy on my lips and check it out. So there we go. That is quite a few coats to actually get it that color. Let me see. Maybe that's better? Maybe that's better. Um, it's quite a few coats to get it to be that vibrant. Um, I feel like the product too looks much brighter than it actually shows up on your lips. It definitely comes off a little more sheer. Um, and in person this is more pink than it is showing up on camera. So right now it feels like a nice moisturizing texture. It does have a nice feel on the lips. I don't feel like it's anything at this point like extraordinary. In terms of color payoff, I actually feel like it's about the same as a Maybelline Baby Lips in terms of color payoff. Because let me do like here's one, two, back and forth. Um, and this is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection. And then let me do the same thing with um, the Maybelline Baby Lips. And this one is in Pink Punch. And I just broke off a piece. <laughs> so as you can see, they actually have about the same um, color payoff. Hide my face, no. My camera doesn't like me today. Um, so yeah, I mean, they have the same amount of coverage really for the same, you know, once swipe over on the lips. And I believe the Maybelline Baby Lips are around three to four dollars each and then these are like eight dollars each. So twice as much and like I said it looks like it's about the same color payoff really. So it is 314 right now. I'm just gonna wear this for a little bit, um, film another video, hang out around the house, and we'll check back soon, maybe in another half hour, hour. Um, I don't know. I don't know what all the hype is about. I don't feel like these are that great. Um, maybe I'll change my mind in the next little bit here. So I'll check back in with you guys and see you in a minute. Bye. Hi guys. So it has been about 20 minutes now. I just kind of wanted to check in on the CoverGirl Jumbo Lip Perfection Balm, Gloss Balms, is that what they're called? I'm gonna get this right. CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. So once again, I'm wearing Watermelon Twist, and once you take the label off, the name of the product is gone, 
um, the color that is. So after 20 minutes, I still feel like it does have a good um, glossiness to it. I feel like it's still moisturizing. It hasn't absorbed into my lips or anything like that. I feel like the color is the same. It hasn't um, changed or um, dissipated. Dissipated? I don't know. Faded out. <laughs> um, so the color is still the same as it was when I put it on. So I guess I'll check back with you guys a little later. Bye. Hi guys, just checking back. It is four o'clock now and my lip gloss is my gloss balm, my CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm Lip Perfection, blah, 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 blah. Um, still looking fine. I haven't really been drinking or eating anything. I've just been kind of chatting with the camera and doing stuff around the house. Um, I feel like it is starting to lose a bit of its sheen, but the color still is there. My lips don't feel dry or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely losing a bit of its sheen, but it's still there. It hasn't budged. It's not smearing, smudging, or running. The color hasn't faded or changed. So overall, pretty good. Hi guys, I am checking in. It is 5.41 right now and my lip color is pretty much gone at this point. Um, there's some remnants of color, but the um, overall the shine is gone. I'm actually starting to feel like some dryness on my lips and it almost feels like there is like funky leftover film. So I haven't opened the blush twist one. I just did the watermelon twist and I'll have to look back and see how long that lasted for. I haven't re really been doing anything. I've just been kind of hanging around the house, like watching YouTube on my computer and TV and yeah, I haven't been really talking too much or I'm not in a social situation. I haven't drank anything this entire time haven't eaten anything. I suspect that if you did any of those things, of course, it would significantly reduce, you know, the length of wear on your lip products. So take that into consideration um, when you're going to be trying your lip balm out. What are my thoughts exactly? My thoughts are this is really nothing special. I keep hearing such fantastic things about it. So I chose two colors because I heard such good stuff about it. And I just, it just, I don't know. I'm really just not feeling that into it. <laughs> um, it's It didn't do anything great for my lips. It left kind of a funky film at the end. Um, I don't feel like my lips are more, you know, moisturized or healthier from them. Um, I don't feel like it gave great color payoff. I don't know. It's a lip product that's in this fun crayon form. And that's about it. It doesn't have any scent or flavor or anything like that. So I don't know. I wouldn't say this is very inventive. I, if I had to put this up against my Maybelline baby lips, I will absolutely always choose my Maybelline baby lips. So unfortunately, this one is not a win for me. It's not a terrible product per se. It's just not a win for me. So I'll probably continue to use this, but not religiously, it's not like at the top of my list now, so yeah. So if you have tried these CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balms, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Maybe there's a better color than this. Um, let me know if you were impressed by it. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!